good afternoon from a spectacular day here in Banff. It's right on freezing. It was fairly chilly this morning. And what a beautiful blue sky. First snow from the other day. Mount Rundle up there. And Buffalo Mountain, or Tunnel Mountain as it's currently known. But if you're ready for the famous shot, I'm out here on my bike. And I just wanted to come and take everyone for a view. Looking down Banff Avenue, one of the most famous scenes in all of Canada. Anytime you see a brochure of travel to Canada, you're probably going to see this shot down here. Of course, the three M's of Canadian tourism, Mountie, Moose, and Mountains. But uh, here we are in our little town, which is still reasonably busy. People have just come back from the ski hills. But that is beautiful Cascade Mountain, and in front of it, Stony Lookout Mountain. So come up to the four-way stop here. I am on my electric fat bike, which is really how I get around town 90% of the time. But in the summer, uh, it appears in the coming year, this main street here, Banff Avenue, will be pedestrianized again. That is being somewhat debated at the moment. You'll notice, by the way, we've adopted scrambles here. So all the lights stop in every direction and people can crisscross as they wish way up above Chuck Steakhouse and the buildings up there is Mount Norquay. They will be thrilled with the new snow that fell. We had uh, two and a half weeks ago record-breaking cold and then we had record-breaking heat and now we are just about just about where we want to be temperature wise. <coughs> uh, mornings well below freezing and then warming up to just right around freezing here and then it'll cool off over the time. We'd love some more snow. This is still pretty bare for us in February. By the way, the buildings over on the left are being renoed. That was uh, the one on the far left now was the Hudson's Bay Company. So we don't know what's gonna go in there. It seems sad not to have the bay here in, in Banff anymore. Uh, you will, looking straight ahead either side of the road, Melissa's one of the well-known restaurants here in the Rose and Crown, one of the local pubs. They have music in there an awful lot. So it is just such a perfect day. It's just nice to share it with everyone. Now the, uh, the town square is up on the right. There were beautiful snow carvings, but they came down because of the warm weather um, earlier than they should have. So come back next January and we'll probably have a more sustainable winter festival. But these are the two main blocks that say through the summer since the pandemic have been pedestrianized now. I do recommend cycling around Banff as much as possible. It's a lovely thing to do. And remember, pedestrians almost always have the right of way. In fact, get a nice little view of my shadow down there. And my, uh, <coughs> my big spiked tires make all the difference for getting around town here. Now, yeah. it's nice and clear. I might try and make it around this corner, turning Right onto Wolf Street here, and then we can make our way across to Bear Street, which is the other sort of central street in the town centre. It's a fewer than 9,000 permanent inhabitants, but somewhere around 7 million visitors a year. Keep in mind the town of Banff is a small area wedged within the National Park, and Banff is one of four contiguous national parks here in the Canadian Rockies. This should be snowier than it is, but at least the views are just wonderful. And you're looking up towards the ladies dancing out here, but you're looking up towards beautiful Sulphur Mountain. That's where the cave and basin is. That's what started the whole national park uh, back when they protected the hot springs in 1885. So that's a long story for another day, but it's just fun. To share all this beauty. There's the magpie and stump there. And then this is the way you go all the way up if you're heading up to the Banff Center, out of our mountain university, or to go up and hike up Buffalo Mountain or Tunnel Mountain there. So we'll just come up to this intersection and I'll just give you one little view around Banff Avenue facing the other way up towards the Park Administration building there up at the top of town. So thank you for coming on this little ride with me. 
and we look forward to seeing you here either on one of my virtual tours on Facebook or YouTube or of course in real life. So plan ahead because it gets very very busy but it's well worth it and you can still disappear into the backcountry no problem.